he celebrates in the Because he wants to keep going to the kindergarten celebration. Respected lawyer and the boss of his girlfriend, Mary Min Hershey, my mother. Well, he came into the law office, unbeknownst to me, um, and I, I saw him out there with this peroxide blonde and another man. I thought, I wonder why he needs to see a lawyer. And uh, when he, when Mr. Wagner came out of the office and said, Miss Hershey, you make a loan, a loan out to her for seventy nine, seventy five dollars. I thought, I'm like. What kind of trouble are we in? <laughs> but that night, he called me. He said, oh, one boy left to call from the office. He said, I'll call you and we'll, we'll get together tonight. And I thought, I hope so. And so he explained to me that he had business. The first few months of the business were very difficult. J. 
Jazz had to figure it out on the own. His advantage. Wow, that must have been hard work. The chips were then packaged in a half pound can and also in the small wax bag. In the afternoon, Jazz would sell the cans of chips door to door in Lancaster. After Min finished her work day at Wayman office, she and JS would load the truck and deliver the chips to their distributor in Panama. Loading trucks and delivering chips might sound like an unusual courtship, but it worked for JS and Min. We always figured it worked pretty well to work together. In September of 1946, JS proposed to Min. Five months later, they were married in the Hershey family home in Paradise, Pennsylvania. Hershey potato chips forged through several moves and changes. You know, the Iron Cows would cook out over sometimes, and the, the lard would uh, uh, be messy. And uh, so I thought, why did I get myself into this? But I had to pay the money back to this lawyer. By the time I got that money paid back, it was three years. So then by the time I got to the uh, into the business a couple of years, we made some changes and, and so that things were not as messy and greasy. In 1947, the company moved from its original rented location to a vacated tobacco ship on the Burr Farm. Two years later, the business outgrew the ship. So, they rented a bakery facility in West Willow, Pennsylvania in 1949. The company was doing well until two years later. There was a fire at the facility and the factory was totally lost. Thankfully, no one was injured. The fire companies got up on our house and just kept water running over and saved our, the rented house we were in. And, um, but the, the fire company couldn't save the building, so everything was destroyed there. An insurance adjuster came the next morning and he looked at the rubble and he looked at me. And I guess he paid me, he paid the whole uh, $4,000 that I had in the equipment. So I had that $4,000 now. Do we stick that in our pocket and say that's what we had left? Or do we want to try to start up and keep the thing going? So, anyhow, we, we decided that we were going to keep going. In 1952, the business moved to our present location in Nottingham, Pennsylvania. From there, the factory grew. The visitor center, constructed in 1989, next to the plant, houses the gift shop, Chipper's Cafe, and a 140-seat theater. <laughs> That's where you are right now! Television. Uh, came into being and also a lot of snacking and people were more interested in getting into uh, snacks and so I think that's how we grew so fast. But the company wasn't the only thing that grew. The Her family grew as well. In 1949, Mary and Jean was born, followed by James Melvin in 1951. I was born in 1955 then Herbert Eugene in 1957, followed by Martha Jean in 1959. All five children worked diligently at the factory and maintain an active role in the company today. The company expanded not only in size, but in range of products. In 1958, we introduced seasoning on our potato chips. The first flavor we tried was barbecue. Barbecue potato chips were so successful that the company added more flavored chips to its line and continues to experiment with new flavors today. Hearst decided that adding different seasons just wasn't enough. Hearst introduced cheese curls. Since now we've made more than just potato chips, Today, Her Foods employs more than 1,400 people, and we operate over 500 sales reps. Her snacks are sold in the Mid-Atlantic region on a regular basis, or through our website at www.hers.com. Check us out! Family continues to be an important part of the Her Foods business. That's 
steer the company to this day. Thank you for joining us at the Hearst Factory. Enjoy the tour.